Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play. I am playing Victoria 2 and I am playing on the Modern Age mod. I'm playing as Mexico and we're going to see how well we can do. Uh, my nation vote video uh, managed to, well, make Mexico win by five votes. It was quite a close one actually. Uh, it ended on Sunday night, uh, well last night actually, and basically right up until Sunday night at half eleven there was a draw between Germany, Mexico, sorry, Turkey and Mexico, um, all on four, and then someone voted at like half eleven and obviously Mexico came out to be the winner. Um, I have been, I've, I have actually had to modify, like, Mexico in a, in a bit. Um, I, like, had to delete all of the, like, sort of left-wing and far-right parties. So I've deleted the communists, I've deleted the socialists, and I've deleted the fascists. Now, this is all because, otherwise, like, basically these constant revolutions, and the revolutions, like, just screw your country over. Now, I have actually tried this, I've, I have actually, like, tried, like, played about 10 minutes of it to see if it actually works, and it doesn't work, but it means that there can never be a, like, communist, fascist, or socialist government. So, yes, there will be revolutions, but they'll never actually get into power and enact what they're fighting for. So yes, to like rise up and take over half my country or all of it, wipe out my armed forces, but <laughs> they won't actually be able to like have any proper power. So I have to be very careful with my military in that sense, um, in the sense that obviously, if I like have them spread it out and not very strong, a revolution will probably just wipe them out. So I've got to keep that in mind constantly. Um, my aims. I'm not really sure at the moment. I'm hoping to try and take up to Panama Canal, but it's whether this beast will actually let me do so. Uh, I will be trying to get good relations with them and Brazil. Brazil is actually the seventh strongest country, apparently. Um, so that is definitely going to be on the on the desk or the cards or the table, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm effectively going to be trying to concentrate first off on building up my economy. Um, I'm not going to get a proper armed forces until probably about six years, 1998, something like that. Now, obviously, that means that we start in 1992, so that's why the world looks slightly different to how it looks now. Uh, for example, Myanmar still about, uh, Sudan is still a unified country, and stuff like that. Yugoslavia is still here. So basically, um, we're going to see how well we can do and whether America will actually let us like sort of spread and become a, a superpower which is my aim basically I want to become a great power that's my aim of this let's play and if I can become a great power and obviously contest other great powers in the world I will probably end the let's play depends how long or if something bad happens or whatever or if it keeps crashing or something I don't know um, so yeah this is basically gonna be replacing my ACW let's play my American Civil War Total War one uh, and I ended that basically because it just, like, I got really annoyed with it. And you can go and watch, like, the final episode where I, like, slam my head on the desk. Because <laughs> I just got so pissed off. Anyway, I've been talking for, like, nearly five minutes. Well, four minutes. We'll start off by getting a national uh, focus. Let's have a look at our production, actually. We actually have no factories whatsoever. We've actually got a project as well. Uh, but we don't have any capitalists. So I think what I shall do is, in Mexico, which is this region here, is I shall try and put a focus on capitalists, and hopefully they'll start building and bolstering up our economy. Uh, second off, let's have a look at budget. We're all on 50% tax rate. I'm actually going to increase the lower class tax rate since they seem to be coping quite fine, whereas the middle class are getting none of their needs, or 23% of them are. So I'll increase that to like 65%, and I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to leave that. Obviously, the upper class is doing quite well as well, but uh, there's not much point because you're not going to get a lot of tax revenue, and also. I want to keep them happy for my own sort of economic needs. Education, I will actually increase that up to 60%. I know it's not a lot, but still. Tariffs, I'm going to increase that up to 10% as well. 
Um, and we're going to leave the rest of that as it is. Technology, let's get... Mm, should, I, should I get modern infantry in case we need to... Well, in fact, no, it's no point. Uh, we'll get... Uh, what should we get? Allows fabric factory, mining output plus 55%, farming output plus 15%, regular clothes, steel. We'll get steel. I think a steel factory will be pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, so we'll actually speed it up to speed 3. We'll make sure we are increasing our relations with the states. Uh, our politics. So yeah, basically there's no sort of other political parties. I should have probably got rid of this one as well. An anarcho liberal. Uh, I'm not sure why there is actually one, two. What's that? Conservative. I'm not sure why there's three conservatives and three liberal parties, but. I know actually there's four liberal parties, but that's the thing for, for Mexico. Um, so. I would actually like to do a British Victoria 2 Let's Play at some point. I've never actually done it. I've done... The only time I've ever played as the UK or England was in my EU4 Let's Play. And that went okay, I guess. I can't remember why I ended it. Oh, I ended it because I created the United States and I decided to carry on as the United States and try and form it. I didn't really manage to do it. Uh, a lot of my Let's Plays, I give myself a goal, and if I don't manage to do it by, like, say, so many episodes, like 30, I tend to pack it in, because it tends to get too drawn out. Um, or if something annoying happens, like, with my American Civil War one, uh, basically, out of nowhere, the Netherlands declared war on me, and then took Washington with, like, a full-stack army from the sea. I was like, wow, where did the fuck did that come from? So I just gave up on it. Our economy is looking okay. 60, a good 60 or so. I'm just going to shut my windows. So it's getting quite chilly. I have to open my windows in my bedroom because my computer gets uh, warm my bedroom fairly quickly. It's only 30 degrees warm. Uh, right. We should be able to increase relations. Hey, up are they at war with Turkey? I just see. Yeah, Turkey and North Cyprus. Ah, uh, the Turkish must be taking Mosul. Let's have a look. Yeah, Turkish liberation of Mosul. So, an Argentinian liberation of Belize. Oh wow, there's a few wars going on. Uh, I will actually state that this mod isn't realistic. Compl absolutely not. Uh, it is effectively like this, like the same sort of warmongering, warmongeringness. I guess is a word uh, as before. You will definitely see def like a lot of changes here. I mean, Yugoslavia is already taking, trying to take Macedonia. Um, so expect the world to change drastically by the time we finish it. Uh, when I finish this. I don't know. It depends if I get to a great power or not. Brazil, increase relations, which we can't do because we don't have enough diplomatic points. God damn you. Our economy is doing pretty well, which I'm perfectly happy with. Um, let's have a look at production. Are we getting any factories? We've got 136 investors. I could put a little investment in there just to sort of bolster it up. Let's put like 1.5k into it and we'll see where that goes. Well god they used it up quick. Um, so yeah. I actually a couple of like minutes ago, I, I didn't look at it straight away, I haven't just looked at it now. I got a little message on my iPad because I use my iPad as a little stopwatch because um, I like to have like good 20 minute long videos. Um, and it came up saying that 500 miners have been trapped in a mine in Donetsk because of a shell hitting it or something like that. I um, can't really tell if that's true or not, but still. Uh, it will actually, you know, it just came up about the sort of parties then on the screen. That is, like, the parties that are deleted are still going to be there. They just won't be able to form a government. Oh, wow. This is quite a stalemate. I've never seen Iraq and America win, mainly because America doesn't actually get involved. 
although there might be. Nah, I think Iraq. I think Iraq will lose. They always do. Um, yeah, but I'm not. I'm not quite sure what to think about this whole Ukrainian situation. I'm a bit split between Russia and between like the EU and the West, because I can see. I can, in a way, I can understand Russia's like support for you, the Ukrainian nationalists. But then again, I can see why the EU and the West are condemning it. Obviously, Russia, the Soviet Union isn't here, so you sort of expect Russia to try and cut, like, forget about its past and forget about the fact that all these nations here were effectively aligned to it. Uh, but it's very hard. It's like, I mean, Britain doesn't, like, keep pressuring India, does it? You know, I don't think we would be able to anyway, we'd just get rolled over by it, but still. Uh, so, I'm not sure what to think about Russia with its aggressiveness in Ukraine. Um, obviously, they're a bit concerned about the fact that NATO and the EU is sort of, a pr like, what what is it encroaching towards Russia? Like, they're expanding more eastwards, like, by the years. And I can understand why Russia would see that as a bit of a worry. Considering NATO's spending on military is something like 700 billion. Whereas, like, Russia's is something like 60. So there's a bit of a difference. <laughs> um, and a thing that annoys me about the EU is how it's trying to expand, like, so much. Like, it clearly wants Ukraine in the EU. It's trying to get Turkey into the EU, which I think could be a disaster. Um, I, I just don't know. The Greece... Now Greece is um, actually Greece just voted last night for Syriza, which is an extreme left-wing party, which is anti uh, anti uh, anti austerity, which is quite worrying, I guess, in a way. Um, so basically, all these bailouts that the EU's given them, or the EU nations have given them, should I say? Uh, they're gonna write them off effectively and just not pay them back, which is not very nice. Anyway, I need to stop. I mean, I, I suppose it's a good thing that I'm trying. To, I'm finding topics. Wow, Russia's just just annexed Belarus. I think that was an actual event that you can do. I think if you you can like choose like this uh, like influence, and they must have put it on full, and Belarus must have just. Is it Belarus or Belarusia? I don't know. Um, I have no idea. I'm guessing Belarus. But even so, they've joined Russia, so Russia's obviously being a bit aggressive. I don't think it'll be long until, until the Ukraine joins them either, to be quite frank. We'll see. I would actually like to do a Russian Let's Play. I know no History Gamer has done one, so... Uh, that sort of, you know, is quite, it's, it's, sort of, it's not hard to do one that now that he's done one, but obviously it's the one's already been done, so it's less likely that it's going to do well. I don't think Mexico's been done, I'm not sure. Not a lot of countries have actually been done. I think I don't, America probably has, and so has Britain and Germany and France and the usuals, but a Republic of China would be interesting, but I just know it would be incredibly hard. Right. I know 1996, at some point, <coughs> there will be a revolution. There usually is. The Turkish are not enjoying this war, either. Uh, oh, they've actually taken it, but they're still at war with America. Is America? Yeah, America's taken Northern Cyprus. It's quite strange. Yugoslavia usually is usually quite aggressive to, like, uh, Croatia and Slovenia and stuff like that. They try and reform that. Uh, so I expect to see that effectively. We can probably increase our relations with the United States. What I would say to you about the whole Ukraine-Russian situation is do not believe your media. On both sides, if you are Russian or pro-Russia in that sense, or if you're pro-West and you're, and you're Western, um, do not believe your media. Obviously, it's all going to be very biased. 
incredibly biased. Uh, I would try and find a neutral news website or use both sides um, to choose your verdict. <laughs> the reason this is probably the reason why I am split on whose side to sort of be on, uh, mainly because I have liked, I follow, and I have the Russia Today app, which is obviously pro-Russian. But then I've also got the BBC uh, side of it on app, and I've liked them and I follow them. So you know, I do tend to get both sides of the story. I, I don't. I'm debating on whether to actually build a military or not because I know that if there's a revolution, it's not going to be very nice for me. Hopefully, Russia. Sorry, like siding with these nations doesn't appear to have. We've got Panama in the grasp. Can I get an alliance with you? No. Four, minus forty nine. So hopefully, in the future, we will probably get to two hundred like positive relationship. We might be able to. But that's going to be quite some time yet. So yeah, go just do some research effectively. Um, I wouldn't bother. Like, just... Because you've got, you got to be pretty narrow-minded, I guess, to just use one news site. But I suppose it takes a bit of effort to actually go and research it. Um, oh god. Right. Industry or culture? What about a ma another national focus? Big science prestige game. Research points. We're going to do that. I want more, I want faster research. If anything, um, we are dropping heavily with the whole uh, like ranking. Let's actually have a look at the ranking and see where every nation is. Britain's a strong third, Russia's second, Poland's up there, even Yugoslavia's up there, Belgium's up there. What's this? Oh, fucking socialist. Uh, I am, I will sort of give my political ally alignment, and it is definitely like conservative values. It's, it's very, I'm, I'm, a, I'm quite mixed effectively. Uh, I believe in socialist stuff, I believe in libertarian stuff, I believe in uh, conservative stuff. For example, I think in Britain the NH NHS should be free, completely free. Um, uh, I also think that we should have free trade with other countries. Um, what else is there to say? I'm, I'm quite... Gr like, the only thing that I agree with the Green Party on is their viewpoints on like the environment although I think they're a bit too extreme I think they destroy the economy by what they want um, also I like the animal welfare policies like the ban like here comes the here comes the communist revolutions so get ready for my country to be sworn but I'm gonna sit back and let it happen effectively um, so yeah I'm quite an animal lover I guess even though I eat them but still uh, what else could I say? I don't really know. What else is there to say? Socially suspects then. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. I, f I think I, so all saying that a socialist is basically like believing everyone should share like money and stuff like that, isn't it? And I sort of believe that in the sense of free NHS. But I don't think we should just tax the rich completely. Like, I have been brought up in a working, a very strong working class family. But yeah, I'm conservative, which is quite strange. Um, well, yeah, but I, I wouldn't vote the conservative party, but I'm effectively. Um, but yeah, I'm a working class. But I don't think class really comes into effect with politics anymore. God. I think once this revolution's done, I shall end it. End this, le this uh, let's play. End this episode. Uh, everyone's becoming more socialist and more angry and stuff like that. Uh, I will say, ah, we can get some reforms in. We'll get trinket pensions. I think the the elderly do need to be looked after. Definitely. You'll, you'll see a lot of my political viewpoints come out in this Let's Play. I suppose the best one to share it, it all in is Democracy Free. 
Uh, I love. I do actually like that game because I'm quite politically minded, but still. <clears throat> in fact, I'm just going to end it here. That there's no not much point in waiting around for that to finish. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. America's still actually at war with Turkey. Um, I hope you, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you disagree with my, some of my viewpoints, please comment below. I am willing to have a little debate, and anyone can join in. I, I don't want as many comments on my videos as possible, uh, especially when it comes to helping me. Like, is there a set reason why these communists are constantly, like, rebelling? Uh, and when I say constantly, I mean previous, in, like, previous times I've played as other countries have always rebelled, especially the fascists. Um, so if you know and you can give me some like little tips, just comment below. If you want to give me your viewpoint, please do. And yeah, so thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next episode. Ta-ra.